All right, peak number four. Here we go. Yes! Finally something! What a great way to start out the day, boys. 1.297. Might as well round it up to 1.3 because it's it's 1.3 mil. Whatever. 350k from Bones to Peaches. Mahogany Logs at 560k. 560,000 off 20,000 of those puppies, and the oak planks did pretty well themselves. Ruined art tips, don't want to talk about those. <laughs> Teleports to the house, awesome. I did all of these overnight flips. Amazing. This is the first time I've had success with all of my overnight flips. Every single one got me a ton of money. But I think I'm going to go do some barrows, because I want to get a bigger cash stack to flip with a little bit quicker than I am flipping currently. And I think our best luck is going to be with Barrows, to be honest with you. I really hope I don't get roasted for this setup. Look at it, boys. I feel like this is a pretty decent setup. I don't know. Tell me in the comments below what you think. I did not know Obsidian Plate Lakes gave you a magic bonus. Like, it wanted me just to use Black Dehyde chaps. But look. Attack bonus of 10. Nice. Yeah, we're going to go for that for sure. Let's get started. Let's see what type of luck we can have. I don't know what drop we're going for here, boys, to be honest with you. I don't know what's expensive. I know I know any arm stuff is expensive besides for his staff. Um, I think there's some Carol stuff that's expensive too. Guthlin's expensive? I honestly can't remember. It's It's been a while since I've actually done barrows, like, consistently. I did a, a barrows just a few times, I guess, whenever we were doing a competition on the good old Discord, but... Nothing to actually like try and get loot like we are here. So fingers crossed we're gonna get something good Because last time I did this it was a long dry streak mind you I was getting drops, but they were like under 200k They were not great drops whatsoever So I'm really hoping we can get a turnaround here and get something that's like over a mil Because that would be a really really nice bump to the good old flipping stack All right, first one. Not terrible, not terrible. I'm not gonna complain about that. All right, round two, let's go. I started in the wrong direction, but... What, what a great start to round two, let's go. And number two, here we go. 52K, once again, not bad, not great, but we'll take it. And number three, here we go. 57k again. And number three, here we go, boys. Wow. All right, here we go, boys. And number six, here we go. Oh, God. Oh, God. That is the lowest I have ever had. Eight. 8,000. Am I killing stuff wrong? What is going on? You know, it's okay, because stuff like this happens. You just gotta keep grinding, baby. But 8,000? What the hell? I've never seen that before. Maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know, guys. Have you ever had one that low before? Especially since it wasn't... Because I know you're supposed to be above and below a certain percentage, and I definitely don't think... Because it was in the green. The potential was in the green. 8,000. Wow. <sighs> Hoping for better here. Jesus. All right. Went a little bit over there. We're still going to get a chance here, though. Come on, dude. God damn it. It was the full Rex. Just, I think that means that was going to be unique, but instead I got... Freak, I got bolt racks. Bolt racks. You know, if you don't just try and rush through it like I have been the past times I've done this minigame, Pharaohs, I don't know why I said minigame. That was interesting. It's actually a lot of fun. I'm just kind of taking my time, going at my own pace here. And I'm actually enjoying it a lot more than I did whenever I was trying to rush through it to get X amount of kills within an hour. 
because I was averaging like I want to say 10 to 11 and I'm only averaging like eight here hopefully but I'm having more fun I don't know just going at my own pace recording it seems to be a little bit more fun to me and enjoyable because I'm not like as on edge worrying about how fast I kill stuff and get through the tunnels down below get a certain percentage I'm still trying to get that certain percentage but I don't know just a little bit more fun than usual, and I think I'm going to contribute that to, you know, just being a little bit more lax. I think after I kill Carol, I'll have enough potential. If not, I guess I got... What, I think I go for a Crypt Rat. It only gives like 5% potential, I think. I think I'll have enough here, though, once I kill him. Ooh, okay, I thought that was going to be worse than it is. 42k, not bad. Ugh, just give me a unique. Come on, give me any piece. I think I've said that like <laughs> eight times now, but come on. I don't know how many that is dry right now. It's got to be in the 20s. I, I was making up numbers earlier, but I know it's got to be in the 20s. <sighs> I went over again, but I think this is going to be the last one. Boys, fingers crossed. RNG, here we go. Oh my god. I got bolt racks again. Uh why, 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 why? So what does that make? 374k. Probably made about 300k. I would have to guess. Zoinkers. <laughs> oh man. All right, well, we might as well get a flipping session underway. Hopefully, we can have some better luck with that. Oh, but first, we got to do something. Okay, that's better. Now, let's get started in the session. All right, I'm going with some old reliables here at first, just because I've had a lot of luck with these items, and I'm, I'm feeling them. Especially these Furies. Furies have been absolutely killing it for me this past like three days really oh, god let me let me check i gotta check this now let's check for the week yeah 1.02 mil on the furies that is a lot once it comes to furies you usually have like an under 10k margin really 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 solid they've been doing awesome for me um crossbow's been doing okay as well i'll have to check out the armadillo crossbow here we go first one to sell let's go boys Bones to Peaches, they were almost 100 GP. They are 100 GP above the GE asking price right now. So that's a little bit risky, but I'm going for it. Just because Bones to Peaches have been doing pretty well for me, as you guys know. If you checked out my video before this, they've been killing it. I don't know why it's not showing. Maybe it's most profit. No, most total profit. No, they're pretty far down, actually. Yeah, 345k. I thought it was more than that. No, it's it's got to be more than that. How about a month? There we go. 1.6 mil. Wow. That's what I've made for the month, but that was obviously before the uh, the incident, which we're not going to talk about. But yeah, Bones to Peaches have been killing it. So if you guys aren't flipping them, you should 100% at least be checking them out. Because we're not working out for us. Um... <laughs> Yeah, we're going to I think we're going to go back to the Barrows Brothers tomorrow morning. So right now let's let's go ahead and set some beautiful overnight flips and I guess I'll catch you guys in the morning because brothers weren't working, flips weren't working. So I think it's time to call it a night and get some shut eye. All right, rise and grind. It looks like our overnight flips have been pretty successful. We bought some dragon arrows at 553. Um it says the sell price on them is 588. So once again, boys, fat stacks, 35 GP. Wow. So we're going to make some fat stacks off the dragon arrows. We just got to wait a little bit, get them to sell. You longbows, not that great, to be honest with you. It's only a 2 GP margin on it. I was really hoping it to be about 306, but they're only selling for 297. So not really going to be worth it there. I'm going to go ahead and cancel the rest because obviously those margins have changed. But hey, profit's profit, 90K. Once we get these to sell, we'll probably have 400 to 500k from the overnight flips. Not a terrible way to start this morning. But let's get 
Okay. All right, here we go, baby. First chest. Mm. All right, peak number four. Here we go. Yes! Finally something! Okay, it's a flail. I, I'm fine with that. We finally got a drop. I don't know how many dry that was. I don't care if it's under 200k. Let's go. Oh my gosh. I felt like I was never going to get a drop. Thank you so much. Jesus. It's a flail. Okay, so what? But we got something. Let's go, boys. Well, I wish I could tell you that it got better, but it really didn't get any better. I think the second best one I had was about 60k chests. All the others were 8,000 and like 20,000. It was an abysmal Barrows run today. Not the best at all. RNG gods were not in our favor. So I don't think I don't think I'm gonna give up on Barrows. So I'm going to give it a few more attempts in the future. Just it was not not headed our way today. Sure, we got a flail that was nice. We got a unique, but nothing really to uh help build the bank we may have to continue to rely on flipping i guess as of now maybe better gear will help or something kind of speed up the kills but yeah this run was not the best at all so i'm not going to even show you guys the clips because let me tell you not worth it not worth it flipping makes up for it though 363k off these beautiful dragon arrows let me get this a little bit bigger for you guys pop there we go you longbow sold i only got yeah 20k off them not great but you know it's a flip bones to peaches i wonder if they've increased i was buying them for 850 and they were selling for 855 nope still 855 hmm i may hold on those do i want to hold on those That's debatable. Debatable. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you for tuning in. And if you've made it to the end, I ask you, implore you to click that subscribe button and leave a like down below. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. So go help your boy out. Go subscribe and comment down below any piece of advice you have for the video. I love constructive criticism. I take all constructive criticism. So give me any advice you have down below. But I have to announce this week's Bond winner. And congratulations to this week's Bond winner, Sangara. Thank you for subscribing and leaving a comment below, dude. Greatly appreciated. Aragnus, username, come get your Bond. Make sure you comment down below that you saw this and we'll meet sometime in game. You got yourself a bond, man. You only had two people enter. Two people enter into last week's bond giveaway. So odds were 50-50. So congratulations, Sir Agnes. Come get your bond. We'll be doing a bond giveaway next week as well. Don't forget, if you want a chance to win a bond, leave a comment down below. Subscribe and like the video. Like the video. That's all I had for you this week, boys. I will see you guys in the next video.